Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are making strawberry cheesecake French toast. Who doesn't love French toast? And I think this French toast stands apart from all the rest of them. You get that strawberry cream cheese filling, homemade strawberry syrup on top of that. And then at the end, a light dusting with powdered sugar. It's gonna be great. To start off this recipe, we're going to make the homemade strawberry syrup. It's super simple, three ingredients. That does take the longest, so we're gonna go ahead and start that first. So that is cooking while we start on everything else. To kick off this recipe, we're gonna need the start of the dish. Strawberries, obviously. Get you about 16 ounces of wash and clean strawberries, and we're gonna get ready to cut these up. We're just gonna dice these up into small pieces. Something not, not too big, not too small, but just a good, nice size. I'll go ahead and meet you over at the stove top. Like I was saying, the strawberry syrup is super easy to make. We're gonna start off by just pouring this in the pan. Kind of a little too hot. Get everything out, okay? To the strawberries, add your water to it, and then add your sugar. Cool. Once you have everything in the pot, just go ahead and give that a good mix. We'll come back in about five to 10 minutes once they do soften just a little bit, and we'll add the cornstarch slurry to that to get it nice and thick. We're gonna go ahead and add the cornstarch slurry. And what this is, is just one tablespoon of cornstarch and then two tablespoons of water. And what this is gonna do is just thicken it up to give it that jam-like consistency. So go ahead and add that to the pot. Give that a good mix. It's already starting to thicken up a lot. So, okay. So it's already starting to get nice and thick. So while this simmers, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our cheesecake filling. Just keep an eye on this. Once it gets to that desired thickness, you can go ahead and take it off the pot. Now that the strawberries are cooking down, it's time to get started on the second star of our dish, which is, boom, the cream cheese or the cheesecake filling of it. This is super easy too. So, you're gonna take one package of cream cheese, open it up. I always have problems opening this. Open it up. And you need a bowl, so get you a bowl too. And just pour all that into that. To that bowl, go ahead and add sugar to it. You add all your sugar and then add a pop of vanilla. I'll do about a teaspoon or two, okay? Once you got all that in the bowl, grab your hand mixer, your whisk, and then just mix it up till smooth. Oh, I gotta plug it in first, don't I? I don't know what I thought. Okay. After you have your stand mixer plugged in, go ahead and mix that till smooth. And you want your cream cheese to be softened, so it's a lot easier to mix and you're not struggling as much. Just work with it. Turn that up a little bit, boom. And just like that, you have your cheesecake layer done. Um, but we're gonna add one more thing to it. If it's not obvious, we're just gonna add a little bit of strawberries to it, just so you have a little bit of bite inside of your sandwich, or not your sandwich, but your uh, French toast. Or just go ahead and fold that together, get everything all well incorporated. And what this is gonna do, this is gonna give you that nice texture in the bite. So you're gonna get that cheesecake feeling, but then you're gonna have a little bit of crunch with it. It's not really crunch, but a little bite to it. Once it looks like this, we're ready to go. I think this next part is really the star of the dish. But anyway, long story short, once you have everything done, set this aside and while we get started on the break. This part, again, is super easy. Uh, give me one sec, one second. Uh, boom, challah bread. If you don't have challah bread, feel free to use regular toast, brioche, whatever the case may be. Um, but I do like my loaf unsliced already, so I can slice it to my desired thickness. If you don't, you can always just sandwich two pieces together. Two inches. Two inches is two fingers, right? I don't know, that's how I measure. Cut that, two fingers. Two fingers. Okay, once you have all your pieces cut up, it's time to stuff it. Now this, the stuffing is the tricky part. I'm not even gonna lie. I always struggled with the stuffing part. Once you have your bread cut up, we're gonna make a slit right down the middle so we can stuff our cheesecake filling into it. But you don't wanna go all the way back into it. Just go about that deep into it and then about like two inches across and you'll be good to go. So cut about each piece, be very careful. Don't rush this step. And then once you have it cut like that, you have enough room to fill it up. You can't really tell, but trust me, there's room, okay? And then do it that with all your pieces and you'll be ready to go. Once you have all your pieces of challah bread cut up, go ahead and bring that cheesecake filling back and we'll get ready to stuff it. Once you got all your bread cut up, bring the cheesecake filling back and we'll get ready to stuff the bread. Go ahead and divide that up to however many pieces you have left. All right, oh, damn. Ah, 
God made dirt, dirt don't hurt, amen. Five second rule. So open that bread up just a little bit. Be very gentle with it, okay? Gentle. I have like this little spatula too, which is very handy, okay? Open that up, grab your cheesecake filling, grab your bread, and marry both of them together. Stuff that with as much or as little as you like. Once all your finished toast is stuff, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the dipping mixture. Three ingredients, eggs, milk, and cinnamon, super simple. Give those a quick bath into the stove and we're eating good. For our dipping mixture, take your three eggs. Ooh, can we drop that? That scared the mess out of me. But take your three eggs and we'll crack them into the bowl. I wanna see if I can crack eggs with one hand. I've tried this many times and I always fail, but let's see if I can show out when the lights are on. Ah, there we go. We got one, no shells. Can we go two for two? Ah, oh, two for two, okay. No mess, oh, there's shell in that one, actually. Guys, boom. So take the shell out, no biggie. And then we're gonna do the last one, like we got some scents. Okay, boom. Once you have your eggs in there, then just give your eggs a quick mix to combine. Mix it up real good. To the eggs, add a little bit of milk, about a half a cup to a cup, okay? And then just about, for the cinnamon, just do about a nice little teaspoon or two. Cool, like so, that looks good for me. And then give that a nice mix to combine. I'm gonna bring out closer so y'all can see this too. I haven't forget about y'all. Once you have everything all mixed up, go ahead and grab your bread, dip it. I like to let it sit for a little bit inside of it. So I do about 10, 15 seconds, do a little dance, move around. Okay, and then after that time is up, do the other side. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Gonna let any excess drip off and then we're gonna go ahead and toast it up. So grab a pan over medium heat, get you a stick of butter, put that in there. Let this cook down. Ah, don't do that guys, this is really hot. Am I the only one that does this with butter? I can't be out there, I know I'm some, not the only one. Grab your French toast and then just place it down. Like so, boom. Put your pieces in there, let the pieces in the pan cook until golden brown on one side, then give it a flip, about three to five minutes per side, just depending on how hot you have it. And then as you can see, our jam has thickened up real nicely. Set that to the side, and just let those continue to toast up, okay? We'll give it a check and see if they're ready to flip now. Yes, they are. After a couple minutes on each side, go ahead and give those a good flip. Okay, oh yeah, that's beautiful, nice and toasted up, okay. Flip them up. Ooh. And let those cook to that side is golden too. And so once you get these flipped over, go ahead and start dunking your other two um, or your other, how many to fit in the pan, go ahead and dunk the other ones in there. So that as soon as those come out, the next ones will go in. Ooh. Keep on checking that just a few more minutes on each side, on that side, and then we'll be ready to go. Man, y'all look at that. Bam, doesn't that look beautiful? Once it's golden brown on the other side, just set it to the side and start on the rest of them. Ah, beautiful. Ooh, okay. Y'all ready? I don't think y'all ready to see this. Boom. Okay, bam. Let's plate this up real nice and beautiful. Oh my goodness, man. You can't have breakfast without this item right here. No surprise. Powder sugar, yo. I'm so hungry eating this. Did you forget about this jam? I didn't. Boom. Add a nice little dollop right there. Oh, sheesh. I know y'all see that. That's like a scrum Uh, That's beautiful. That's a beautiful plate. It's time to eat, because I'm hungry. You got the nice strawberry cream cheese, powdered sugar, holla bread. I think this is gonna be a perfect addition. The homemade strawberry syrup, let's go for it all. It's time to eat. It's 7.30 at night right now. This is my dinner. I'm honestly so excited. I can't think of anything better for breakfast, honestly, than French toast. French toast is a classic OG dish. And then you got the strawberry cream cheese, the homemade strawberry syrup, it's gonna be banging, I promise you. My mouth is watering. All right, let me stop talking. Let me take this bite. I'm too excited right now. <laughs> Ooh. I need a knife. Okay. Get you a nice bite. Uh, get a little cream cheese. Oh, 
yeast. Let's get a little bit of syrup. Add a little bit of extra syrup to that bite. <laughs> Keep banging. Oh my goodness, the steaming is coming off. Let's dig in. <laughs> Wow. Oh, that's so good. I gotta go in for a second bite just to see if it's that good or not, okay? Oh, what's my next? I always gotta get a second bite just to see if my taste buds are playing games on me the first time. Oh yeah. This is it right here. At the moment, I'm currently speechless. This was, this is really hitting the spot. Either I'm really hungry because it's late at night, haven't eaten, or this is really good. I'm gonna take the latter because I know this is really good. I promise you if it wasn't good, y'all would never see this video. I promise you that. But this is, this stands on its own. Who doesn't love a good French toast sandwich? I promise you this is gonna be the one for you. You have the challah bread, the cream cheese, cheesecake filling, and then the strawberry syrup with the powdered sugar on top. Hats off to the chef. That's me, by the way. So good. Give this a try. Make this for your date night. Make this for yourself. Make this for your kids. Make this for your, your family. Whoever the case may be, just make this. It will change your world, okay? I'll see you guys next week. See ya.